Hello, it's been a while. Today, we're going to be looking at my favorite band, Radwimps. I listen to about 100,000 hours of their music every year, and in 2020, I was in the top 0.01% of their listeners. I'm not particularly proud of that, but there was always something about their music that made me feel calm, despite the chaotic character of their instruments. Today, we're going to be looking at the 2016 Your Name album by Radwimps. Radwimps was formed in 2003 during their first year of high school and today consists of four members. Lead vocalist Yojiro, lead guitarist Akira, bass player Yosuke, and drummer Satoshi. The band's name has always been a bit of a strange choice to me. However, according to Wikipedia, the name is somewhat of an oxymoron and means excellent weakling. Huh. In 2016, famous director Makoto Shinkai teamed up with the Japanese band to make one of the highest grossing anime films of all time. Raking in almost 400 million US dollars, the film skyrocketed into the mainstream and has become widely available on many streaming services. But what makes the film so memorable? For me, it's the music. Makoto Shinkai specifically requested for Rabbimps to compose the music for the film. He asked the lead singer, Yojiro Noda, to write in a way that supplements the dialogue or monologue of the characters. I interpret this as his request to artistically depict the character's thoughts and emotions through music. So before we make our own, let's have a look at some examples. Take Dream Lantern. It was used in the film's exposition where we got a glimpse into the character's personalities. In the beginning, the song features a lot of reverse delay guitars, various swells, and almost an underwater filter over the entirety of the track. This builds and builds until we get a sigh of relief. It creates tension and mystery around who these characters are and how their fates are intertwined. Sparkle starts with the lonesome piano riff, which becomes the backbone of the entirety of the track. As Taki struggles to remember who he spent so much time getting to know, violins, cellos, violas, it all likewise builds and builds and builds until... Holy shit. So let's have a look at making our own. For the track, we'll mainly just be using an electric guitar, as we can build all the swells and layers with various effects and reverbs. I'm running this $200 off-brand Les Paul through my Complete Audio 1 interface. Let's set the BPM to 170 to 180 and play a simple power chord progression. A large portion of the track uses Guitar Rig 6 by Native Instruments. There's a demo version that runs for 30 minutes and then forces you to reload the plugin, but you can bypass this by just rendering out the audio with Control. Alt C for consolidate. I applied a guitar rig on the ambient shimmer preset and added an EQ to cut the lows and boost around 4000 Hz. What's essential about Rabbit's songs is the use of layering. In this song, I laid as many melodies and counter melodies as I possibly could, not only that, I reversed certain elements to emphasize the swell effect, a prominent feature in songs like Dream Lantern and Never mind. Applying various guitar rig presets, such as the reverse delay and creamy snowflakes, we have a pretty good starting point. And this will act as our backbone for the entirety of our song. To build tension, Rabbims loves to add distorted picking and complex high patterns in songs like Dream Lantern and Zen Zen Zen's. Also, as a minor detail, adding reverse symbols can really give the end of the bar a lot of energy to transition into the next section. Speaking of the next section, let's move on to the chorus. The most important thing you will want is your classic distorted rock power chords. With this, we layer the distorted picking, hi-hats, rides, and crashes. The main driver will be the drums. The secret is ensuring you adjust the velocity to really sell the effect of a live drummer. All together, we have this. Now, if we add a main guitar melody, we have a very Radwimps like track. Another detail that really makes a difference is the use of panning. Be sure to pan a lot of the main instruments left and right, 
this will really expand the soundscape and create a really wide track. And that's the main bulk of it done. Next up will be the vocals. The original songs are obviously written in Japanese, however due to the popularity of your name and the accompanying soundtrack, Rabrams translated many of the songs on the album and recorded English versions. Looking at some of the English lyrics, we can see some recurring themes. Dreaming, treasuring someone you hold close, the world falling apart uh, regarding the media, and crying. For the song we're making, I really wanted to emphasize the sigh of relief listeners here when the vocals come in. The vocal chain also needed to be relatively clean. By this, I mean limiting the amount of reverb and delay, giving them a very warm and intimate sound. And with that, we have our track. Hopefully I'll be able to make more videos soon, and thank you for watching. As I look through my window at the imagination